Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we'll be looking at how to validate data using dependent lists. For instance, you want to insert in here sales region information, but making sure that you only select your uh, inputs from a certain list. And then you want to put the salesperson's name, but make sure that Excel gives you the only the options available as the ones uh, belonging to the correct region they've already selected and the options are all here in this table. How do we do this? First of all you need to name the range that you will be looking at um, for the sales region and I've already created that one I've called it uh, region. Uh, after that we go here and we select the sales region area that we want to apply the data validation to and we go here come here to the data tab in the menu and we go to data validation click on it and what you need to do here is essentially select the validation criteria so what we only going to allow values belonging to a list and the source will be region So as you can see here, when I click on it, then the only options available to me are North, South, East and West. So then I just copy and paste and I can change the inputs as I wish. I'll just delete it for the minute. And what we're going to do next in here, we want Excel to have available to us as an input only the North sales people. So Lucy, Amanda, George and Steve. How do we do that? First of all, we need to go and name each single um, list that we have here for the sales people. And what we do, the trick here is that you need to choose for the North sales people a name which is the one that belongs to the region. So for instance, this one here will become North. This one here will become south. And this one here will become east. And this here will become west. So then the next step is to go here in the salesperson um, cell. And again, go to data validation. And this time we'll still select a list but the source will be, and we input here a formula, indirect, and this particular case will be the cell A4. So what Excel does, it basically provides a reference using the content of uh, the cell A4. We click OK, and now let's go and have a look. As you can see, now we only have as an input the, the cells of uh, Lucy, Amanda, George and Steve, the names of Lucy, Amanda, George and Steve because those are the ones that belong to the list called uh, the data range called North which is the input to the data validation formula. So we select it and then again we want to copy all the way down to the rest of the range. We'll just delete it for the minute but then let's go and have a look. The next one will be say East. Let's go and find out the East salespeople are Simon, Greta, Ramon and Mark. So we just choose the input, go to the next one, West. And again, the West salespeople are Ted, Sophia, Luke and Paula. So as you can see now, we have created a um, data validation set using uh, the sales region as an input for the salesperson. So you will only see as a possible input uh, the names of the salespeople of a certain region depending on the sale region that you have selected at the beginning. 